Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. Today's video is a what's for dinner video and I have three meal ideas that are easy and budget friendly. This first one here was my favorite of all three. This pork chop with onion sauce was amazing. I am trying to stay on a budget this year, especially with my groceries. And I'm also trying to eat through my freezer and pantry. And I found this pork chop in my freezer and I pieced together a few recipes to create my own with ingredients I had on hand. So as you can see here, I have the pork chop with some seasonings. I'm dairy free, so I'm using dairy free milk and butter. And I'm going to make an onion sauce with that along with with the garlic, the flour, hot sauce, and chicken broth. And then for a side, I'm just gonna have some of these instant mashed potatoes and green beans. So into my Dutch oven, I am adding the butter, three tablespoons and two teaspoons of olive oil. And I will get that heated up on a medium high heat. And to my pork chops, I'm adding some salt, pepper, and paprika, and garlic powder. And I season both sides. And then I'm, as I'm adding the pork chop to the Dutch oven, I quickly realize there's actually two pork chops there. So then I have to re-season or season these, these sides next. Once you have seared the pork chops on both sides for about three to four minutes, you're going to want to remove them from the Dutch oven. And then you are going to add all your ingredients for the onion sauce. You'll add your onions and your gar garlic and you will saute that up into the um, liquid that is in your Dutch oven. Then you will add your flour, your chicken broth, and your hot sauce, and then you will let that all cook down and reduce for about 10 minutes. You will return the pork chops to the sauce and let it simmer until the pork chops are cooked through. And then I will show you the final dish. It was, like I said in the beginning, absolutely delicious. This was my favorite meal of the week. For tonight's What's for Dinner, I am making General Tso's chicken. The inspiration for this was the leftover General Tso sauce that was in my refrigerator that needed used up. So I have these chicken drumsticks and cilantro and some limes, garlic, soy sauce, chili garlic sauce, along with some rice and frozen broccoli. All this made an easy and delicious meal. So to make the sauce, all I did was juice two limes and added in the garlic. Then I added about a quarter cup of the general so sauce. I actually added a little bit more at the end. Two tablespoons of soy sauce and a teaspoon of the chili garlic sauce and then I whisked it all up. Mm -hmm. 
So to my frying pan, I added a few tablespoons of butter and then I am just going to sear the chicken breasts on both sides for three to four minutes. And if you peep over to the right, do you see those blueberry muffins? They were absolutely delicious. I had leftover um, blueberries in the freezer and that video will be coming soon. But as you can see here, I am just turning them over and they will finish cooking in the oven. So here is the final dish. I just air fried the broccoli and pan cooked the frozen rice. I added some cilantro on top and this was an absolutely delicious meal. So for tonight's what's for dinner, I am making that viral feta pasta sauce, uh, tomato sauce. I've made it before, I know, on my channel, but it is definitely worth repeating. I put this over pasta, I put this over pierogies, it would be great over chicken. So basically all you do is put in a baking pan the feta, the chopped up garlic, and the tomatoes, and you cook it for about 25 minutes on 400, and it creates a delicious sauce. And then I'm just going to make a salad for the side along with some homemade salad dressing. So into the baking pan, you put the brick of feta um, and the tomatoes and some olive oil, and I season it up with salt and pepper. And you add all that garlic in because the more garlic, the better in my opinion. So for my salad dressing, I wanted a like creamy red wine vinegar type of dressing. So I have some red wine vinegar, some olive oil, some salt, pepper, and then also that 21 seasoning salute from Trader Joe's along with some fresh chopped garlic. In my opinion, I just said it, garlic makes everything better. And then a few tablespoons of mayo. I actually ended up adding more red wine vinegar to this because I didn't want it as thick. So I just put everything into my mason jar and give it a good shake. And as you can see here, I am struggling with the lid to this mason jar. I don't know what was up with me that night. So here is the final dish. You can see how much leftover sauce there is. It had leftovers for days. And my salad, that was a perfect, easy, quick weeknight meal. So I want to thank everyone for watching and I will talk to you on my next one. Bye-bye.